Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. We're in the downtown Kedipapos Harbour area. Behind me is the brand new bus terminal. And this is a little area which has been allocated for hop-on scooters and push bike hire. So if you want to get around Paphos, this could be that special, special place for you. All you do is come along and, uh, well, there you go, bop. Check the code, download the app, and of course you can hire one of these. And then just on the other side are some from a rival company, and that company is called Take. Let's move. So again, same theory. We all understand how it works. You come and scan it, take the app, pay them a couple of bob, and get to go whizzing around. And you can also hire a bike and check that out at AphroditesWaterpark.com. Now, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world. And this is one of her favourite, 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 favourite brand new tops. And of course her name is Miss Ochin Gracia Labu. Hello everybody. How nice to see you again and again. I'm loving it. I'm totally, totally loving it. I don't know what it is. It's something sport and chic all in one rolled like a great sushi that me and dearest Caroline enjoyed many times. Yes indeed, so she's going to be doing a bit of pirouetting for you to show all the little bits and bobs. But she is looking very, very sport chic today, especially for a gentleman over in Blatislava. And of course that's our Lord Richie. Thank you very much and big shout out to Suska. Not Suzuki, like you were saying, Mr. Church Father, our dearest members of family, Mr. Paul, it's a church father. He's a Christian in everybody and everything, so he says it in his way. Let's forgive. Yes, indeed. So, big, big shout out to Lady Suzuki. No, sorry, Lady Suska. Again, the partner in crime of Lord Ritchie. They'll be coming to Pathos very, very soon indeed. And you never know, we might get them to sing a tune or two in Lofty's Bar or even the Queen's Vic where we take them for a night out. Now, come with us as we take you for a little bit of a prance through the downtown Kedipapos Harbour. More bikes are going to come up, so we'll stop and pause to let you know what those bikes are called. And of course, just over there is the Neo Paphos archaeological site. It's a world heritage site, so perhaps if you are into that kind of thing, pop through the main entrance, cross their palms with a couple of bobs, and of course then you could, uh, well, go and learn something or two about history, maybe. This is called Next Bike. There's their logo, and again, it shows you how you do it. You download or scan the app, and of course, give them a couple of bob, and you can go whizzing around the Kedipapos Promenade and Harbour area, or even further afield on a bike. Not only get a great, great suntan, but get nice and super fit as well. Oh, by the way, I've seen someone behind me. He's coming. He's not going to say that we're filming him. Uh, it's not him. I just made a mistake. Wow. The mountain man that Yes, I you were confusing him with the mountain man. That's the well-dressed man. The man we're talking about, as many of you know, is a grumpy man. Oh my goodness, he's grumpy. Yes, he and is, very he badly is. dressed as well. He is, actually. And I was going to say something, but once my eye caught this... I call him mountain man. I'm very sorry, but he really is. But that man, I apologize. If I only could run after him and say sorry, I thought you him nothing to do with him but I thought this mountain man now you need to be careful what you're saying because there is another man that you call mountain oh, man oh no 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 that mountain man is a gentleman that one is a different league mountain yes. man yes that man is a mountain man because he's he's very big, very tall and indeed his heart and and soul it's huge and and all his gentlemanism on him this is different mountainism. Uh, yes, it is. Know. Yes. So there you go. Just in case that mountain man in downtown South Wales. That's Lord Lee. Big shout out to you, Gumbaro. And a big shout out to your honeymoon girl, who now is your bride, of course, our Lady Vicky and our superstars as well. Big shout out to Princess Kelly and Princess Layla. We have entered the Cape of Force Harbour area. It's a funny time of day. Lunch service is well gone. It's hot and sticky, by the way, if you're curious to know. And this is the man in charge of this restaurant. Hello. Prince Andreas, how, how are you doing? You all right? I'm 
Fine. How's those muscles doing? Perfect. Perfect. Sean, come on, show us your muscle. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. He's on a personal training mission and he's getting himself very, very fit indeed. And I think I might go and join the club. That's King's Restaurant. Could be the best restaurant in downtown Kedipapos. And it's waiting. It really is waiting for you. A smiling, a friendly, uh, all positive, always uh, a talky, mocky man. So what can be better? And of course, he's got these all languages that he speaks, and the, his job is becoming easier by this. Part. Yes, indeed, a talky, mocky man. See, you're learning some new. Well, I don't know what they are, but they're words that are slowly going to go into the English grammar, aren't they? We're now outside Theo's restaurant. This could be one of the best restaurants in the world, and it certainly is one of the best in downtown Head of Papas Harbour. You come here most evenings, and I'll tell you what, it is packed to the rafters. There's the man in charge. He's the Romanian gangster, as we call him, and, of course, he's chatting to these people, explaining the menu, and I'm pretty sure that very, very soon indeed they will be going into that restaurant and having a spectacality of a meal indeed. Every restaurant, every single restaurant on this line, it's specialising on his, uh, their own things. Mostly it's a fish because we are uh, very close to the fish, but don't imagine it's not that cheap as you expect to be. You know, first time when I came to Cyprus, I thought the fish must be the cheapest thing doesn't work that in way. the world because the sea is right... Uh, Whatever throw. But well, that's the same with all <laughs> harbours, isn't it? All harbours are literally sitting on the cusp of some sea. But when you go and sit in a restaurant, for some reason, the fish doesn't seem to be that cheap. But the prices in the harbour are quite reasonable. It's not going to scare the life out of you. If you're coming from a European country or the UK, to be honest, the prices are quite cheap. This is the main entrance to the harbour where you want a boat trip. And there's lots of boat operators waiting there for you. One of our favourite, favourite boat trip operators is Paffle Sea Cruises. And, of course, they've got more boats in this harbour than anybody else. Over in the distance, you can see a sunshade with a blonde beauty. That's our girl, Ruth. And, of course, she's the girl in charge of the Wave Dancer. As time goes on, we'll introduce you to more and more of these boat operators. So don't forget to keep coming back to the little channel known as Marika and me. And I don't know what is the weather preparing us to be, by the way. Some uh, clouds I can observe around me. And of course... Don't uh, upset the watchers. No, no. It's, uh, the sun is fighting with the clouds. And of course, it's a little bit of dust coming around. Uh, overall, it's the most pleasant atmosphere that I have seen until now. You know why, Mr. Paul? It's not burning you, it's not cooking you, it's just all right. It's not burning us yet, but very, very soon indeed, of course, we will be complaining because that's what we like to do, because, of course, we're humans. It's either too hot, too cold. At the moment, the temperature's about perfect, about 25 degrees. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Middle of April, about 25 degrees. We're now outside the most famous restaurant in the Paphos Harbour, and it's known as the Pelican. Why is it called the Pelican Restaurant? Quite simple. It's owned by a pelican. Her name is Miss Coco, and she likes to attend to her flock and pay an awful lot of attention to this part of the restaurant. This is where she gets to choose a fish or two. And because she owns it, well, she gets to eat anything that she wants but you too come here and feast your eyes and digest upon their delights they are the tiger prawns the biggest prawns uh, you can imagine by the way and they're quite tasty you know why because we've tried mr paul was it this one with uh day man that you i tried? think it was they were big big prawns anyway I'm pretty sure Dayman will drop it in the comments. Dayman, we're missing you like crazy, and we know you're coming very, very soon indeed. And you never know, we might get to feast our eyes and digest some killer prawns again in the downtown Kedipapas Harbour. Now, if you're looking for a great, great place to perhaps get an ice cream or perhaps a lighter meal, they do do some very nice food, by the way, steaks and all those kind of things, but they do specialise in wraps and ice creams and it's called the Bistro Gilalamo and it is one of our favourite places in the downtown Kedipapas Harbour. Like I say, if you do want a fillet steak, well, you can feast your eyes and digest upon it at €29.50 and choose your favourite, favourite sauce. They've also got some light snacks like burgers, cheeseburgers and there's a kids menu, there's pizzas and of course if you like a bit of spaghetti, perhaps if you're from downtown in Wiltshire, your name is 
Sir Richard, Blonde Beauty called Lady Julie. A big, big shout out to you guys. Of course, a big, big shout. We missed you already. Wherever you have gone, please come back. We want you back. We are indeed. You never know, we might take you into the Gelalamo restaurant when you come back. We've now strayed into the turf of sale at the castle. A very, very big restaurant, very, very popular restaurant in downtown Ketapathos. And lots of people have tipped this one to be their favorite, favorite restaurant. And they specialize again in the catch of the day. If you're an octopus or something like that, something very, very fancy, perhaps this restaurant could be the one that's waiting just for you. And you can feast your eyes out into that, which of course is the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Receiver the booth, what have you got to say? You know, when you see observing these beautiful people around, watching this beautiful sea, and waiting for a food or having a cocktail or two, or just a simple drink, whichever is like uh, water or pint of beer, whatever they are, you know, eating the ice cream, just little children going around playing the football or, you know, just making some fun with each other and this all spectacality of the views leaves you a shadow of coming back and this is like a photography in your mind which stays forever and then this makes you to come back again and again it does and again downtown Kedipapas Harbour on a spectacality of a day indeed that's the fun ship in the background a lot of music playing so we're going to stay away but a lot of you might remember that guy that is our man dexter and he's a superstar in the downtown kettle Pappas harbour and he's in charge of stevie's restaurant and of course we're going to keep on moving because they are partying the night away on the Jolly Roger just over yonder. That's one of the fun cruise ships in the Paphos Harbour, operated by the Paphos Seacruises.com. Feast your eyes and digest the beauty and the spectacularity and all the blueness that's going on in downtown Ked of Paphos. Priscilla Booth wants to do what she's famous for, walking along her curved wall. And one of these days, you never know, she may fall into that blueness, especially for you. We've also got the wave dancer coming in the back end as well. There's a bit of a party going on in downtown Paphos. There's no doubt about that. And if you're curious to know about what's going on on this side, this is going to be the grand restaurant known as the Ocean Basket. And it's going to be opening up very, very soon indeed. When it does, we're going to take you with us and feast our eyes and digest upon the beauty and the spectacularity of its menu. And next door to that is what we call the Nautico Restaurant. It's a naughty, naughty restaurant indeed. But if you want a great meal, it could be that one that's waiting. And I mean waiting, especially for you. This is the downtown Cape Paphos Harbour. We're coming towards the sunset viewpoint. That's brand new if you've not been to Paphos for a year or two. And of course, next door to that is the Paphos Castle, one of the most famous, famous icons in the world. And of course, it's at the pinnacle of the downtown Cape Paphos Harbour. And it's all waiting, really is, especially for you. If you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe. Don't forget to keep coming back for that little bit more of our complete and utter madness. And of course, while you're at it, want to hunt us down on that buy me a coffee platform because that's where you could gift us that virtual coffee or two. Or even join us as a superstar member like Lady Whitney and of course Sir Jason. He could be a lord very, very soon indeed, especially when we're hiding under his bed when they come out to Paphos in the summer. We're looking forward to seeing you guys like crazy. And of course, the list goes on and on and on. We've now come to the end of the downtown head of Paphos Harbour. There's the Aphrodite statue. She's waiting for you. There's the castle. It's waiting for you. And this is the sunset viewing point. And it's waiting for you. Let's have the final word with the most beautiful woman in the world, Miss Ochin. Gracia la bouche. It's all amazing. What can we say? We wish you were here. And we really, really understand that this is a life, the life of beauty, spectacularity, humor, joy, agreement in between people, and love in between people as well. We wish you here. We wish you were here. And please, please, don't forget to come and see another 
of our madnesses, many kisses from the bottom of our two hearts as well. We send in from the, the from the beautiful island of love. We are indeed. Now, can I ask you a question? You've stolen some of my English. I need that word back, spectacality. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again very, very soon. Somewhere in downtown Gate of Paphos, in particular in the Paphos Promenade and Harbour area.